call the uh, February 23rd um, meeting of the uh, Diversity, Racial Equity and Inclusion uh, Committee to order. At this time, I'd like to offer the uh, minutes from the February 2nd uh, meeting uh, for review. I'm going to assume that everyone received those minutes and had an opportunity to review them. See, heads I, nodding. Excuse right. me. Oh. So it's actually February 9th? Yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for the correction. <laughs> February 9th. Thank you. Uh, but everybody, uh, it seems they've all re um, review, reviewed them and, and we're all set with those. Any questions, any changes? Can I get a motion to have those uh, minutes approved? I motion to approve the minutes from February 9th, 2021. I'll second. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, great. So we will uh, we'll move forward. Those um, uh, many minutes have been approved from the uh, February uh, 9th meeting. So we'll jump right into our uh, agenda. Uh, and I think I'll, I'll uh, hand it over to you, Carly, uh, to give us kind of an update on where things were as it relates to uh, the Indigenous Peoples Day uh, kind of the activities and project that we're working on. So. Oh, OK, sure. Um, so yeah, we had a meeting yesterday. It was well attended, everyone attended. And um, essentially we, we wanted to to spend some time with Rafi because um, of his background and knowledge on indigenous people. Um, he recently graduated from college and he, um, luckily we were able to get him to join our meeting tonight. So if any of you have not yet met Rafi, Rafi is, Rafi is on, the, on the call right now. Nice to meet you all. And um, so what we really wanted to do was just understand how we could work together um, with the work that he's been doing and the knowledge that he has on indigenous people. And we came up with some um, some interesting ideas. Uh, essentially, the um, the thing that we want to do as a, uh, a first attempt at kind of socializing the idea of, of um, moving away from Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day is to get a document um, signed by the um, um, select board um, that talks about, you know, um, the land and where it's originated from. But um, before we do that, we realize that there are a number of steps that we have to take in terms of um, communication and education. And we realize that there's a lot of information that we need to share with people in the town, as well as the select board to understand the origins of the indigenous people um, of Chelmsford. So um, Rafi has, Rafa has agreed to um, provide us with some additional reading material and documentation that we're going to distribute amongst the working group that we can look through. And um, based on the information that's provided to us, um, work with Trisha to have that information published on the town website so that we can start sharing it and, and sharing information about, again, the, the origins of the indigenous people of, of Chelmsford. Um, in addition to that, there are also contacts, people that we can talk to um, about the, um, the the what we're trying to do and to get feedback from them. Um, and lastly, we want to at some point have some sort of sit down with folks and 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 talk about it openly. Talk about indigenous people because. Um, I think people have, I, I don't know if people think that indigenous people have just moved away or gone away, but we still live among the people in the community and we just need to understand the culture and recognize the culture and, and the history behind it. So um, there's more work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done, but um, I think it was a good first pass. Yes, uh, thank you for that. That was, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Rafa so did not, send not, over not. some information to me yes. today, so that's great. Rafa, why don't you go over just a little bit about what? Sure, absolutely. Um, so what I sent uh, was, um, let me see if I can pull it up here. Okay, so the so the name of the, the woman um, that I was in communication with, Ina Sweetnam, uh, she essentially had a document that I shared um, with, with Trisha. 
Um, I said that um, she, uh, Sweet Num, has that document up on Chumster for Social Justice and the CHS alumni page. Um, but I'm just going to maybe just ask her, uh, like, you know, just through um, through Messenger, if, if we have her consent to um, get some of those documents up on there. There are, it, it's essentially a Google Doc with um, dissertations and um, articles. Um, about the vanishing narrative uh, and about uh, documents between settlers and indigenous people uh, that go back to the 17th century, um, giving us an understanding of the relationship um, and history here. And um, there's like also, like I said, there's a formal academic article um, attached to that and dissertation as well that um, includes Chelmsford and its relationship. It's not all about Chelmsford, but it, it talks a little bit about that relationship. And that's kind of what we have. Um, there's also another document I'll be sending um, that's called the Wemiset and Pawtucket Trail of Tears, and I'll send that your way also. Um, and they mentioned uh, some relationship between uh, the Pawtucket and Wemiset people um, and the Panakuk people that were here uh, as well. Um, so that's good. Uh, so, and then the second person um, was, uh, you know, Jeremy Green. I talked to you guys about him. He was a, a former history teacher of mine, um, and I've been in communication with him a little bit. So he, uh, you know, he's um, definitely very open minded and has a great perspective, and he would be willing to, uh, you know, teach the, the real thing. So he's definitely someone who's reliable, that's for sure. Um, and the third person, um, and I can probably share this email with everyone uh, that when when I'm done, so that way we I have this in writing. Um, I'm just kind of reading off the email. So uh, the third person uh, is Christoph Strobel. He's a professor at UMass Lowell. Um, he does global and comparative studies, um, and his expertise is in Native American and African history. And Mr. Green recommended his lectures, and I think he would be an interesting person to talk to. He's a non a non Native um, Indigenous person, so he's not. Indigenous. Um, and uh, number four, so number four is kind of critical. Um, the fourth person, his name is Ken Hamilton. I kind of talked to you guys briefly about him. Um, so he is the Native American who essentially, sorry, whoops. So he's um, the Native American who uh, he basically gives elementary school children uh, at like Bime School and the different elementary schools around here lectures at the Garrison House in front of like a sort of re reproduction of a indigenous home. Um, and uh, I found, so I found like an article in chumpster.wickedlocal.com uh, about him um, and uh, that uh, experience. And um, just looking into that briefly, uh, that um, that article actually says, you know, um, an, a quote by him. It says, "The very people who lived here were called the Panakuk guys." Can you say Panakuk? So he had he was trying to like repeat back and forth to the kids. So my point here is that he was uh, basically saying, um, as an indigenous person, uh, I guess you know, trusting his research, um, that the the Panakuk P E N N A C O O K were the indigenous people that were here. Um, so th then lastly, uh, uh, so there's a group that I, I referenced um, at last meeting. They're called the Kawasak Band of the Panakuk Abenaki people. So they're kind of like a public and governmental service. Um, and uh, so they, you know, they register with the IRS as an organization. They're, they're nationally, uh, you know, incorporated. And um, I've gone to some of their lectures and they might know different indigenous people around here. They're based in New Hampshire um, and they, you know, do lectures on the history of of, of Southern New England, and um, uh, yeah, so they'd be a good asset as well. So I'll send this email out to everybody, um, and so that way we can all see it. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the context, the preliminary context that I have right now. So I did just forward that to everybody, Rafa, and I copied Wait. you on it so you would have everybody's email address as oh, well. Okay, okay. thank Thanks. you. Any other uh, comments from uh, other folks who were uh, uh, present at the, at the meeting? At least from, from my perspective, I think uh, 
uh, we, we've got a good start. And certainly uh, having a, a person like Rafa available to us who, you know, has um, the uh, information, has the knowledge, has the context that we need, you know, in order to, you know, become better educated ourselves and then ultimately to uh, bring that education to bear to the town, you know, is uh, going to really be invaluable. So, uh, Rafa, we thank you for for spending time with us and, and being, being really willing to, to uh, continue to work with us. So, Of course. Right. Thanks. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Susan, Susan you have your hands raised? Yeah, I just, I just wanted to ask Rafa a question. So I had met you at a Zoom meeting that the CARES group did, and mm -hmm. you talked about a lot of this um, at that Zoom meeting a couple of weeks ago. Yes, I know you're trying to, to tie things in with the Chelmsford school curriculum um, and get some more of this into the school curriculum. But I just wondered, has CARES talked at all about an Indigenous Day? Um, a so, change to that is that I don't know if that's ever come up with that group as well. That's a great uh, question. So that uh, did not come up in the discussion. I talked, as you know, a little bit about the territorial acknowledgement, I believe, with, with you guys um, and some of the people that I've been in touch with um, like the organizations that I uh, just um, named. So, but to, to answer your question, we didn't bring up Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, I was uh, informed actually by someone who, her name was Heather, who's connected to um, Italian Americans for Indigenous Peoples Day, um, which is a group that I, I kind of signed up with, just kind of get my foot in the door back in like early in October and September. Um, just to kind of see what was going on. And I so I got this email like only a week or two ago out of out of the blue from Heather um, saying that I was kind of like the only like Italian American in the area that uh, was um, interested in in uh, replacing Indigenous uh, and in replacing Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day. So um, that's how I kind of got into this. Um, and I, she informed me that there was a group, this group being the committee um, on, on racial uh, equity uh, that um, you guys were going to go forward and we're thinking about uh, doing Indigenous Peoples Day after that uh, meeting with um, Matawin Munro, uh, who's the uh, co-leader of um, United American Indians of New England. Okay, that's yeah. good. I just, I know there's some other things that we are kind of overlapping and I didn't want to be yeah. dipping it, but just good to know if, but if we would join forces, but it looks like that's not on their plate right now. So that's right. just, good, just good to know. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Any other questions for Rafa? OK, great. Again, thanks. And uh, we'll uh, look forward to uh, continuing to work with you. OK. Thank so you. Thanks. moving on down our actually into our uh, working group uh, updates. The first one listed is, uh, is the culture group. But I think we've gotten an update because uh, uh, <laughs> we, we just got that that information so we can I'll move down to the next yeah, group. Except, would... Phil, there is one we do have to talk about what we're planning for March 31st, or at least start talking about that for the Transgender Day of Visibility. Oh, right. Absolutely. Going to yeah, talk about absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. So when we were having the conversations about, about about like our preparing and the amount of work we have to do for Indigenous People Day, we kind of realized from a calendar standpoint that we needed to um, – slow down a little bit on this to spend some time on uh, Trans Day of Visibility, which is coming at the end of March. Um, I don't have too much to report on that. Um, I did start like looking at a bunch of resources today um, to wrap my head around kind of what we had. Um, I found some good videos and stuff, so I'll be shooting an email out to the working group to kind of review and, and look. Uh, Trisha, you were right, that Philadelphia resource came up for me too, and it's great. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, I think we have a, a few things we can pull from um, and, and push that forward. So we'll have more to report on that next time. Okay, great. Anything else in the uh, in the culture space? All right, great. so we'll be uh, uh, continuing to uh, uh, look to um, the information that uh, Rachel and others pulled together for that and uh, figure out what we're gonna do with next steps. Uh, the next uh, group would be our education folks. So didn't know Hi, so um, I'll admit we haven't actually 
really done anything. I shot some emails to Lauren and Margaret just to talk about next steps. And I guess there are some things we still want to ask of um, Linda Hirsch just to get some more details, but we haven't done anything. I've been reading a lot about what the CARES group is doing because I know they're really moving on the, the Girl Scout project with the book lists and working on the curriculum. But I, I think they're doing a lot right now about the select board election. So that's kind of where their focus is. So we haven't done anything since our last meeting, but we've been communicating about moving forward. So that's where we are. Can't hear you, Phil. Yeah, that pesky mute button, you know. Um, uh, with, with the uh, communications group, uh, we've been working primarily on uh, the uh, Black History Month activity. So um, I, I did want to uh, give Cherise, you know, a chance to, uh, um, you know, to uh, uh, talk with us. I think, and even before you get started, Cherise, I'm sorry, but uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, all of the feedback I've gotten from people in town uh, regarding our activities as it related to uh, uh, or relates to Black History uh, Month has been tremendous. Really, really very positive. I don't know what others are hearing. Um, and, and so I'd, li I'd like to, you know, find out a few folks, um, you know, have, you know, heard from, you know, uh, your friends, people in the neighborhood. But, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of uh, in info. Um, it gotten a lot of feedback from, you know, just you know, um, good friends and neighbors who said, gee, I didn't know this stuff was going on. A lot of the information on, on not only um, the um, uh, events and activities that uh, uh, you were able to uh, pull together so that we'd have something uh, to present as it related to, um, you know, the chunks for telemedia, all of those kinds of things, you know, obviously got great info on that, but also uh, our, um, uh, I, what, what I'm kind of nicely calling the uh, the AAA listing, you know, the accomplished African Americans that we've been, you know, every day running, you know, that information. And, you know, there are folks that, you know, I know of who I said, hey, go online, um, you know, uh, you know, sign up. I, I forget what terms I use. I'm sure they were the wrong terms. But anyway, go online. Make sure that you, uh, um, you know, get uh, access to our page and access to the to the updates that are coming out. Uh, and those app, those things have been working well. And if I can find them, anybody can find them. Uh, but seeing all that information uh, about those people has been, I, I guess, for me personally, pretty powerful. I've been in the community since. Oh, uh, what I want to say, like 85, I think we moved here in 1985. I never saw anything like that. My kids growing up never saw anything like we were, were able to offer. So, I mean, we should feel, you know, just tremendously good about that. And everybody took part in that. I mean, all, all of us, you know, did something, you know, wrote some kind of a review, did some sort of, you know, research on our own, on people. Um, in many cases, we didn't know anything about. So this, I, I think it was, it's it's great. So from my from my perspective, it's been um, you know a a fantastic success, fantastic success. So and and I do I applaud the team for that. But uh, I know Sharice, you wanted to just do some uh, you know kind of check in with us and and get some you know ideas on on feedback and and you know perhaps start you know thinking about what we. Um, may want to uh, continue to do uh, next year or whatever. So I'm, I'm going to give the floor to you and let you, uh, uh, you know, have your comments. Well, thank you, Phil. And I think you've echoed my sentiments exactly. I thought the team, and I really want to uh, say thank you to Tricia for pushing that out on a daily basis. It was so nice. And I'm so glad you told us to sign up because it was so nice getting those notifications and like, oh, who am I going to learn about today? You know, and I felt informed too, you know, so it was awesome. And I really appreciate the team's collaboration and effort to put the paper together. And you guys were right on about keeping it simple and not overstating it because you could have wrote on and on. And, it, and I think going forward, what I would think I would add, if anything, like links, I thought the links were excellent to link you to other areas because it made me learn quicker more about what was happening. So that was awesome. And um, I really thank also Tricia for really encouraging supporting the communication working group to use CT uh, Chumsford Telemedia. And we did that. And so 
Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the presentations. I enjoyed being a producer. And um, I just want to say, <laughs> I like that title. So, <laughs> uh, but anyway, it was fun. It was a great, and, and, and you were so right. Uh, Pete was amazing and very uh, accommodating. So thank you all for all of your work and the working, the communication working group for all of their support. Um, and that was um, Carly, Latasha, uh, Tricia, Theo, and um, I think I missed adding um, somebody to the team, and I didn't, and I just wanted to. I mean, I, I don't know. I got to check in with Margaret, see if she's doing it. Was it Margaret um, that was supposed to be on there? No, um, not Brian. It was, um, uh, I can't think, but I, I think I left him out on the communications uh, working group. But nevertheless, I'll make sure, I'll check in with him to make sure he's included. So. Thank you all for Joseph. I don't know, Joseph. Were you on the <laughs> communication working group? Um, you you can invite me, but I can't guarantee I'll be at every meeting. I got a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of commitments I'm juggling right now. I kind of felt that way, you know, so that's why I didn't invite you. No, I'm kidding. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd be happy to join if possible. Yeah, if you want to keep me on the communications. Um, yeah. That'd be great. That was an oversight on my part, Joseph. So my apologies when I sent out the in information. Um, but going forward, you know, this is not the end. We have still a lot of work to do. But thank you all for all of your help and support. I'd like to nominate Sharice as our committee producer for all CTM <laughs> programs going forward. Now that she's got the title, <laughs> did a great job. All thank of the, the guests did a great job, too. It was really nice. Thank so, you. and Phil, I haven't forgotten about the Jesse Hines pushing that out, but we don't have anything for this coming weekend. So I thought it would be a good time to push that out. But I, I don't know if I missed the boat on something, but it just got to be no, a, a little no. bit. Of me. In fact, you know, I'll, I'll talk about that a little later in the uh, on, on today's agenda. So we'll, I'll get everybody kind of up to speed on that. Okay. So that's all I have. Co chair Latasha, you have anything to add to that? No, I feel like you and Phil really covered it all. It was a great collaboration project. Trisha was excellent with the organization of the website. Mm -hmm. And I do feel, although I haven't heard personally, people really appreciate us having something for Black History Month. And they're looking forward to see what we do in the future. I would like to add if there's any graphic artists in the group, we could use one. So at least just trying to size the pictures to be the same and add headings and things like that, that would be really nice because I it drove me crazy in the slideshow that all the pictures were all different sizes and I tried to do it and I just couldn't and I didn't have the time. But so if anybody knows any people that are really good with Adobe Photoshop or some other program where we can just give them a whole bunch of pictures and they can uniform size them uniformly. So that time, next time when we do a slideshow, it'll look a little neater. But aside from that, I thought it was awesome. Yeah, me too. I, I can help with that, Trisha. Excellent, Rachel. I'm going to dump a whole bunch of photos your way. <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah. Great. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, the other group is the... Uh, uh, diversity training group, uh, and that is just to refresh everybody's memory, Rachel, Susan, Carly, and myself, and uh, I've tried to pull together a bunch of information. As you might well imagine, if you go, uh, you know, online and try to look up information on diversity training, you know, it's crazy. There's all kinds of stuff on there. The biggest challenge I found is trying to figure out what's of value versus what's not, you know, because they're, you know, in all candor, there's a lot of stuff that's out there that's that's you know, kind of light, you know, I mean, pretty lightweight uh, and not terribly valuable. Um, Rachel had shared something with me uh, a few weeks ago, I think it was called uh, uh, Point Made Learning, and uh, they have a, a program. I actually signed up, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, Rachel, or not, but I actually signed up for the, uh, um, you know, for the uh, the free module uh, that they would take you through, it looks great. I mean, they want something, just from my perspective, I was like, yeah, we should just have everybody on the select board sign up for that right now, pay for whatever it is. It's 60 bucks a person, 80 bucks. It's absolutely worth that. But I do have a list of uh, um, of some you know, some areas or, or some, some resources that we could start to look at. 
I'm going to send that out to folks at the end of this meeting. And while I have everybody here, um, you know, we should probably, you know, try to meet. I don't know if, um, uh, you know, you know, since we've got kind of a free Tuesday, right, you know, coming up next Tuesday, if that would be a good time for us, to, uh, for the three of us to try to get together. So, or, or if you'd prefer another time, I see Rachel's thumb is up. I see, okay, all right. So we've got um, Susan and Rachel. Hey, oh, look, there we go. Okay, great. What I'll do then is I'll set up a Zoom meeting and I'll send out, the, uh, you know, send out an invite. I'll also send you uh, this list of, um, you know, potential uh, 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 training resources. Um, and we can start to look through, because I think, you uh, we, we, there's so much of training such a big area. It's like, where, you know, where do you start? What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? So I think we need to kind of give some thought to to all of that kind of stuff. And then when we get together, try to kind of, kind of hash through, where, where, where do we want to start? What do we want to focus on? Uh, Carly, you got your hand up, so. Yeah, um, there was a, a gamification um, sort of thing that Brian had suggested. It, do you have that link, Phil? I, I no, no, I, I to don't. It when he mentioned it, but I've forgotten it. And well, and actually, okay. I, I I wrote it down and can't find it. So if any if anybody has that, uh, hopefully, Susan, you have your hand up. So hopefully, you're going to say yes, I have it. I think it's in the minutes. Oh, oh okay. okay, fantastic. That's even right, better. Lisa? Yeah. I'm looking right now in my minutes, so I'm just pull my screen up here. Um, let's see. Fairplaygames.org. Yep. Mm -hmm. All one word, all one thing. Fairplaygame.org. Looks like no S. Fairplaygame.org. Yep. Okay. Right. And I'll add that to our list as well, to the list that I'm going to send out to folks. So at least, you know, it'll give us a, a, a place to start and we can kind of figure out, you know, what we want to do. Because, you know, even as I think about it now, I think about we've got training that I think the board definitely needs to have. Um, but, you know, uh, I know that there was some, ex uh, some um, interest expressed in maybe training for, you know, our committee. Something that you know, you know, kind of put that we put together, or that we put ourselves through, as if, if for uh, no other reason as, as a grounding, you know, uh, exercise to make sure everybody's kind of in the same space around certain things. I mean, we make that assumption, um, uh, and I think we are. But you know, while we're looking at the training, I, then we should probably look at that too um, and see, you know, see if that's something. So again, I think that those are the kinds of things that I see the the uh, um, diversity training working group, kind of tackling those things and making, you know, determinations around what we should do and what where we should focus and all that sort of stuff. So, so uh, we'll follow up uh, uh, with that. And like I said, I'll get this out to you, uh, to you folks uh, um, af after this meeting. So, let's see. Well, and so nothing else. Any anybody else have any comments they want to make about the diversity training piece? Are we all set? Um, I think it would be great. Linda Hirsch did mention she's going, she wants more people on the professional development group for teachers to see what teachers want in professional development. So it'd be wonderful, Phil, if we can make recommendations to the school department for teacher training once we've approved a couple of perhaps training things to keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Um, okay, no, that's great. Okay. All right, just just jotting down some notes here. Okay, great. Yeah, that's what we can do. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. So plenty, plenty of work to do in that in that area. No, no shortage of work to do in in any of the areas, really. Um, the next item I wanted to uh, just go over with with uh, with you is uh, um, the uh, a, a recent request I got from Jesse Hines, as you uh, probably remember. He came to uh, our meeting. I guess he and Bob. Um, uh, uh, Paracel uh, came to one of our meetings, I think either in either November or December, to talk about his uh, uh, documentary that he that he made. And also, I think at the time they were planning on doing some sort of event using uh, Chumps for Telemedia, uh, and they thought that they would happen happen sooner as opposed to later. Uh, as things turned out, 
Um, it will be, it's now going to be sometime in March. So what he had done is to reach back out to say, hey folks, you know, I, I'd really like you to uh, make sure that everybody on the, on the committee is aware of, uh, of, of, of these two events. He's got uh, actually two events that are coming up and he did send uh, an, an email to me uh, and then followed up and said, gee, could you send that email out to everyone on the uh, committee? So I will follow up and send send you a copy of, of his email. The dates are interesting because he initially sent the email, I think, it, you know, sometime in uh, December. And then he, he made some changes, but he didn't change the date and he sent it back to me. So it, it looks, it looks a, a, a little different. But basically, it gives some more explanation uh, of what he's looking for. Um, I, I think what he'd like to get is some input from us. Uh, uh, specifically questions or potential talking points. So when he has these um, uh, panel discussions, they, he'd, he'd like to have the, the pump primed, if you will, by having some questions, thoughtful questions that people have already provided uh, to him so they could use those to start having uh, some of the conversations. Uh, and, I, and I don't think he's looking for, you know, a situation where you know, all of us sit down and look at all four of the all four of the uh, um, uh, the episodes, and then you know, write a list of questions on each on each episode. It's more, you know, identifying several um, thoughtful kinds of questions that a panel could discuss as it relates to some of the issues that the uh, episodes um, you know highlight. So, uh, I did participate on one of the. Uh, uh, discussions that they had. It wasn't a panel discussion, but it was that actually uh, sponsored by uh, uh, the Congregation Shalom. And uh, it was, I, I think it ended up being about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes. Um, and it was more of, a, of just kind of an open conversation. And you know, those of you who've participated in those things, um, they can they can get really slow if there aren't any real questions that are coming from the crowd. You know, there's a lot of you know, there can be a lot of silence there, and and people are kind of stumbling around to figure out what to say. And I and I I think it would be helpful if we could provide them with just a few questions, as, just you know, individually uh, as it relates to some of the uh, some of the uh, uh, issues that his uh, documentary raises. So, you know, I'd like to ask folks if they get an opportunity, even if it's just, you know, two or three questions that, that you could forward, uh, that would be great. And maybe to make it uh, to make it easier, if you want to just send them to me, then I can, um, I can shoot them over to Jesse and make sure that he gets them. Um, and that, you know, that way he, you know, he doesn't get things from a bunch of different places. And I can make sure that you know they're all together, and we can just send them right over there. Uh, so if you could do that, that would that would uh, that would be great. Um, also, uh, the dates they at the time he came to talk to us, they didn't have any dates nailed down. They now have the dates nailed down. There's one uh, that's going to be actually on the wind. I, I think it's a Tuesday, March the 9th, but it's in the afternoon. It's like a um, uh, 12:30 p.m. So that's going to be, you know, a challenge for, you know, uh, you know, for many folks uh, to get there. But that that is going to be actually a panel discussion. And I believe he was working with um, the head of the uh, social sciences department at the high school, and, and they are going to do it during the day so that uh, if there are high school students who you know, want to participate, they could have the opportunity to do that. So uh, uh, that that's my understanding. Um, so that's one of the events. The other event is uh, actually is going to take place on March the 25th. And I think the email that I send you is going to give you a different date. I think it'll say March the 15th, but it has been updated to March the 25th. Um, and it's going to be sponsored by uh, there are several uh, churches in the Southern New Hampshire area who are working together to sponsor uh, this conversation. Uh, and, you know, I, again, uh, if we can, you know, provide with those questions, you know, provided, I think he'll be able to use those for that uh, uh, particular uh, uh, event as well. So I'll make sure that everybody gets uh, the, in, the email that he sent 
to me. I'll just forward that on to folks. And, and if you could put some things together, send a couple of questions to him, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Um, and also, you know, if you can participate um, and ha have the, the you know, time and the interest to participate in, uh, you know, one of those, either the panel discussion or the, uh, uh, or, or, or the other open discussion, uh, you know, certainly uh, would appreciate if, if you could, you know, try, you know, try to support him in that space. So just wanted to make sure that I shared all this information with you folks. Mm -hmm. um, any, any questions on, on that? I think it's pretty straightforward stuff. And you'll also see on his, on the email that I send you, he's going to have his website there. So if you haven't uh, been to his website, that's really the place to go to get all your question, questions answered. I'm obviously, you know, not a guru in all the work that he's done. Uh, but if you go to his website, it's pretty detailed. You, you can see some of the things that they'll be focusing on. And it also has up-to-date information on these two events uh, that I just referenced. And I know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Trisha, you know, uh, referenced it, you know, a few moments earlier. Um, he wanted to make sure that we got that on our website um, so that it's just another way of uh, publicizing some of the th some of uh, his activities. So, you know, we'll get those posted up as well. So this is Latasha. Quick question: Are the episodes still on our diversity page? I believe they are. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. Yeah. So, and, and you know what? You know, for those of you who haven't, you know, looked at them all, they they're they're reasonably you know paced, and they're not terribly long. I think they're they run somewhere around a half an hour each. Is, is my my recollection. I looked at them. Uh, you know, a, a while ago, so my memory's not really that that good. But I don't. It, it's not like an hour commitment each time you sit down. I think it's it's more like twenty five, maybe thirty minutes. You know, a pop for each of the four uh, installments, if you will. Any other questions? Or All right, okay. All right. Uh, let's see if we don't have any other items. Trisha, anything that I've forgotten? Uh, Latasha? No, I don't think so. All right. If that's the uh, the case, then we can uh, look to our next meeting, uh, which I believe is March the 9th. And I don't know if there are any uh, specific, uh, you know, uh, agenda items that um, people have. I mean, one of the things I see us doing just on a regular basis now, especially since we're meeting every other week, is the working group, you know, update. You know, so so you know, I think at every meeting we should take some time to go through and do a quick update. Excuse me on uh, where you, you know where each of our working groups are. You know, um, if, if there's any update, so that everybody has an opportunity to do that. Uh, Latasha had your hand up. Yes, I think we need to revisit our goals just to ensure that we're staying on track. And if there's mm -hmm. something that we've missed in the past, we can go back and, um, you know, just re-energize ourselves around it. Okay. Uh, Carly, I know at some point we were trying to get a software working for us. Did we ever get that going? No, everybody seems so locked down, but I what I need to do is get on the phone with the um, provider, the consultant, and Trisha and I need to get on the call with them, but she's been so busy that we haven't really put together any project plans. Um, so I want to be sensitive to Patricia's availability. Um, and if Trisha, if you want to try to do something in the next two weeks, um, yes. we can do that and I can set up the meeting. I just um, wish I could transfer the whole ownership thing to you. I would love that because right <laughs> now I'm, can, not, I'm, I'm actually locked out of it. You know what? Oh, I think weird. I'm going to just give you my, you just log in as me. I'm just gonna, you know what? I, just email me your is. information because I'm locked out. I'll try yeah, to just, remember. I'll try to pull okay. it up and see. I know. I just got so lot with the whole worksheet thing. Yes. Um, and plus I'm, I have to update the town managers worksheets for their goals and i'm just like oh, i'm and i'm also getting ready for a local election so yeah. <laughs> i am back in election yeah. mode already so we're yeah, going to so be drawing names in, and i'll okay out with them. yeah thank you i appreciate that but I, I mean we have the ability to look at what what's there we you know those I, did i ever put our goal sheets i don't know if i put our goal sheets on our on the website 
I think it's in teams, but not everybody has access to yeah, the team. Right. Right. So we can distribute it hard copy at, at least to everybody before the, the March 9th meeting. Mm -hmm. um, that would be I do want to say that I don't want it to take precedent over the transgender day discussion. But yeah. if there is time towards the end of the meeting to just review our goals, I think that would be um, impactful. Yeah, I'd like the committee to be prepared to spend some money, too, in case we come up with some ideas about anything that we want to do to draw more attention to Transgender Day of Visibility. I mean, if we want to spend some money that we have from that grant money. Right. Um, so, Rachel, if you have any creative ideas, you know, I just I want to be able to say to show that we've spent some of that money right. doing well. Some and of I, 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 I think, too, there's going to be an opportunity um, to uh, uh, use some of that money on on some training activities as well. So yeah. as yeah. we as we as we get there, uh, I, I I don't anticipate we're going to be in a situation where we've got money sitting around and we can't figure out how to spend it. Okay. I, I, I don't I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we're that, in a hole in that. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think we we'll, we should be able to figure out some way to uh, uh, utilize those funds, as it were. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. And also keep in the back of your mind that after we do the transgender day of visibility, we got to think about what our next, that'll be the culture group too, but right. okay. it should be for April um, besides getting ready for your next black board update in April. Right. Oh, great. Um, Sharice, you had your hand up. Yes, two things real quickly. Um, and I think I might be ahead of myself. I wasn't sure. For some reason, I thought Gay Prize Month was coming up. Is it March? June. No. June. Oh, June. I'm way June. ahead of myself. Okay. Um, and the second thing I wanted to just mention, first of all, thank you because we all voted for um, those. Th I, I, I'm, I'm jumping back. I forgot to mention this. Um, the three people to get paid, which they, you know, I know they have to send their forms in, Trisha, two of them. They went into the spam. So they should be resubmitting those. I I never we never voted on um, uh, Jovan Morris, and I don't know if that's a possibility. If not, I'm not going to worry about it because that wasn't something we voted on. We just voted on uh, Cecilia, um, Sher Sheila, and um, uh, who mm -hmm. else am I missing? Uh, Aaliyah. So we only um, voted on three. I mean, I just have a comment not to take away from her contribution because it was really interesting um, hearing about what she does and, and her accomplishments. But the other three were performers. They they it was a performance that they did um, and her. She talked about her job. So okay. I don't know if that makes a difference. Okay. or not. No, that's fine. I, just I thought it was it great. And I was really glad to, to, to hear her interview. And I think she was an inspiration to a lot of people. But okay. I, you know, I, OK, no worries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Trish. Sure. That's just my own opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. That's just my opinion. Oh, that's fine. I agree with you. It's okay. Yeah. I just wanted yep. to put it out there. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I was just going to uh, mention a, a few things. So I noticed, um, so L Lauren Cochran, you're, you're here as, as well. And I added you on a sort of a small group chat that I kind of referenced um and uh, i call it de decolonization so i'm going to be maybe talking to you uh and some folks on that group chat to see if you guys want to have any resources or any material on an indigenous people because you guys have expressed interest in that um that uh um we can probably send to the the committee or for for us to approve because um, that's kind of what, what i'm doing right now is sending in some some resources. So, and uh, Trisha, also, if I, if I can help with that approval process, that would be cool too. Um, just, just to not, you know, pile all the work and, you know. Um, oh, the, the approval the, process with the select board, or? Uh, well, I, I don't know. Like the reason why I'm saying that is, is because, um, like, I feel like I was sending a lot of stuff your your way. And I just kind of want to like participate in, in trying to like look look at with the, with you guys. Um, to just kind of divvy up the workload. Of okay, people. so maybe the next um, the next culture group we um, we take and we start looking at that more specifically. What do you think, Carly? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. All right, so we'll okay. set up another meeting after. I guess after. we're kind of stepping on right stepping on our March toes here, but um, mm -hmm. we you know once 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 Rachel and I once we get together with Rachel and 
and um, which we so I ping think me need when, to do. You soon. ping me when you're ready for when you think we should schedule it because I don't want to. Yeah. Interfere. I, so we don't have Phil's next meeting with the select board scheduled yet. It's Until April, the, right? End of April, I would imagine, after the new board is in place um, because the election is April 6th. I don't know if town meeting is going to get moved to June. Right now it's scheduled for the third week in April. Um, so I, I'm not sure when the when the select board meetings are in April. And I don't know when they want us to come back, but they had mentioned quarterly. So that would have been, you know, the next logical time. But I think we need to meet be early April to talk like about Like the week that. of the 5th or the week of the 12th? Yeah, maybe yeah. Maybe the earlier in April, the better. So once we know what we're done with what we're doing for Transgender Day of Visibility. So early okay. April. And so, I mean, the Monday night thing works for me. So did so, that work okay for yeah. you last time, Rachel? Monday night, early April sometime? I don't know. I don't have my calendar in front of me right now. So. April 5th is uh, the first Monday in April. Okay first week if we, we can look at that and follow back that. That. okay that. okay Sharif did you have something your hand's still raised so I didn't know if you had something else I think you're muted oh sure. <laughs> no I didn't have a question thank oh, you oh, okay all right Okay. All I, right. I have something. Um, one of our goals was to meet with the police chief also on a quarterly basis. So April will be about that time again. Is it okay. quarterly? Did we did we decide quarterly? I know we talked about it, but then we th I thought we had a discussion that we that might be too much. Right. I think it's too much. That's the reason why I brought up revisiting the goals. Yeah. yeah. Again, mm -hmm. so we did write quarterly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought what after we talked to him, we thought that might be a bit. bit much. Much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can yeah. talk about he that. He also more. invited us to participate with you know coming to the uh, police house and those things. I think we should take him up on that some kind of way. I think we should honor and you know let him know how much we appreciated that gesture. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can go individually anytime, right. you know, you can just call up and say, hey, when's a good time for me to have the chief give me a tour? I've already done it, so I'm I'm good. <laughs> I go there all the time, but you can you can reach out to him individually. I don't think we need to schedule a field trip, do we? <laughs> I don't know how, he, how it was supposed to be set up, but I, I will definitely reach out to him. Yeah. yeah, I mean, because we are still in a pandemic, so we still would have to quarantine anyway. I mean, not quarantine, but, you know, be respectful of the spacing and all of that. So, yeah, well, all of our policemen have been uh, most of our our public safety officials have been vaccinated, so they're they're safe. <laughs> One final question. Did we ever receive any feedback from the select board on um, the open position that we have on our committee? No, we do not. Okay. So, well, if we, there's no other. Uh, uh, Trisha, did you have? Did you have? No, I was just going to say. So, I <laughs> would like to make a motion yeah. to adjourn. <laughs> yes, I, I, I. It would. It would be lovely. Who? Who wants to give a motion to adjourn? I'm making the motion. Who wants to second it? I'll second, I'll second it. it. Motion. Sorry. All in favor? Bye. 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 Have a good one.